This is ridiculous. Why do we all have to go to a football game together? Because according to my RA manual, this is a good way for us to get to know each other. Now when we cross campus to the football stadium, everyone has to hold hands with his buddy. Uh... <laughs> Remember, stranger equals danger. So don't let anyone touch you where your bathing suit covers. Uh... <laughs> Who are we missing? Where's Dell? I have to go, Mom. We're going to the stadium for a football game. Yes, I have a buddy. Yes, equals danger, I know. Who's he talking to? His mom. He calls her four times a day. It's like he's in love with her or something. My daddy loves my mama. I have a special hug for when they's breeding. Okay, Mom. I've got to go. Okay. I will. Okay. I will. Okay. You too. Okay. I will. Dude, let's pick it up! If we miss it when they do the wave, we may never get another chance. I guess I have time for one joke. Who's there? Who, who? <laughs> no, I'm not an owl, Mom. I'm your son. Oh, I get it. <laughs> Tell me another. Oh, jeez. Gotta go! Come on! Wait, my mom said I needed a coat. <laughs> Man, I'm cold. Well, who told you to leave without a jacket? I don't remember. Too bad you don't have a raccoon coat like Ed's. Raccoon? I wish! This is a hundred percent barn mouse. Only problem is, it does tend to attract the hoot owls. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Quiet! There's a safety announcement. Uh, apparently somebody let the dogs out, and they don't know who. There's that guy from the cafeteria. Look at that douchebag. Why do you hate him so much? I don't know. Something about it. I just want to punch him in the face. Dork. I'm hungry. Where's the hot dog guy? Hot dog! Hi, Del. Felicity, what are you doing here? Yeah, what are you doing here, you psycho? I'm not a psycho. I'm here to tell Del the good news. I just got an injunction against that restraining order you must have accidentally filed against me. <laughs> Look at you shivering. Here, I needed this for you. Um, uh, that's okay. No, I want you to have it. I made it out of my own hair. I got more if you want me to make you a coat. Doesn't that hurt? When you're in love, there is no pain. <laughs> I think maybe we're in the wrong seats. Yeah, this is obviously the psycho section. You are such a dork. Freak. Loser. Whack job. Fathead. Are you as turned on as I am? No. Whack job. We're out of here. Wait. Don't leave without your buddy. There are dogs out there. And they can smell your fear. <coughs> Dude, do you mind? I'm trying to see if the force is strong with me. Mm, sorry. Was that a bullseye? It sounded like a bullseye. I don't know. I wasn't watching. What's wrong? You haven't put on your sombrero all day. I think I'm getting sick. I should call my mom. Ow! Oh, I thought I heard a girl scream. That was just Dell. He thinks he's sick. <laughs> don't worry. I have a first aid handbook. <laughs> oh, I never should have borrowed that gym teacher's bathing suit. Achoo. I really am sick. How can you tell? I'm delirious. I can't think straight. I'm not making any good decisions. That's ridiculous. Hey, wanna go ice fishing? Sure. Cool. Carry all this stuff downstairs, okay? I gotta go launch an ass rocket. So, how'd the ass rocket go? Not so good. It blew up on the launch pad. We lost a lot of men. <laughs> <laughs> the splashdown was a total disaster. <laughs> My O-ring is still burning. <laughs> Dude, you still sick? I thought all this fresh air would do you good. 
I'm so very, very cold. You're not cold. You're burning up. You're sweating. Quick, take off your shirt before you pass out. Dude, have you been working out? You're pretty cut. Me, I can do crunches till the cows come home, but I still can't seem to shed those holiday pounds. Whoa. Here, hot stuff, I'll cool you off. Whoa, your high beams are totally on. <laughs> because Walrus has claws. Sharp. Socks hurt my feet. What the hell happened to him? Shh, I think he's dreaming, the little darling. Dreaming? This guy is sick. My beautiful prom dress, it's ruined. Oh, that's real good. He has pneumonia. Pfft, pneumonia. Sounds so made up. This wouldn't have happened if you hadn't gone ice fishing all night. But if we hadn't gone ice fishing all night, we wouldn't have this. <laughs> Oh, Dell, my sick little boy. I brought you your favorite comic books. Oh, but I don't like Archie. I want She-Hulk. She's large and in charge. Just take it, you frickin' idiot. Mom, you told me when somebody swears an angel dies. For the tenth time, I'm not your mom. Hmm? Joe? Is that you? What's going on? You've been in a delirium for two days because of your dumbass friend. <sighs> Am I going to die? Yes. Oh, I better call my mom. No! Don't touch it! Don't touch anything! You're diseased! Go to the health center. But I heard people go into the health center and they don't come out. It's true. Now go. All right now, let's have a look at... Sweet merciful lord! Your skull has been crushed to a powder! It has? Oh wait, that's not you. Well, whoever it is, he should probably be looked at right away. Although I doubt there's much we can do for the poor bastard. Coach, did we win, Coach? Hike? I think I'm getting sick. Ooh, sick. They pay me six dollars an hour for my professional opinion. But suddenly I guess you're the doctor, huh? Well, doctor, why don't you tell me which pills you should take? Hike? But uh, I never said I was a... Uh... Choose! Eh, uh, wrong! These are the pills that make you well. These are the pills that make students bleed internally and get my medical license suspended for three months. But you didn't know that, did you? And you know why? Because you're a lousy doctor. Now get out. Hike. Thanks for letting me borrow your pants, Ed. No problem. I got two pairs. I've got to take some food back to the dorm for Dell. Anyone looking? Man, that burns. Oh, almost forgot the gravy. <sighs> Ain't you gonna take Dell any dessert? Of course. Ah, oh, crap! Man, what is that jerk's problem? He likes pudding? No, there's something about him that makes me want to punch his face in. Oh yeah, now I can see it. Sanford, I've been looking all over the cafeteria for Dell, but he's not here. Did you look under there? Under where? <laughs> you just said underpants. <laughs> I wanted to give him this cake I baked for him. I know he's allergic to chocolate, so I made it with brown soy paste. You don't know Dell at all. He hasn't eaten paste since ninth grade. Just give it to him. He'll love it. I'm sorry, but my pants are full. Man, how many times have I said that in my life? Hey, little buddy. Look what I brought you. Good. Let's see. I got peas. Here. Take a pee. <laughs> and, and here's some leeks. Go ahead. Take a leak. <laughs> and I got dumplings. Uh, I forgot why I got those. Oh, yeah, for throwing. No. This is the first time an unpleasant fluid is leaking into my head. Oh. Maybe I should call my mom. Dude, you are acting like such a wuss. My lungs are all filled up with fluid. Is it root beer? I don't think so. You just need a little cheering up. And I know exactly how to do it. We'll have a cigar party. He'll be on your feet in no time. I heard somebody is sick. Of being sober? <laughs> Who wants a free breast exam? 
Oh, that one's good, that one's good, that one, not so much. <laughs> These puffin' rods make my head all flippity. <laughs> Great party, Dale. The splashdown was a total disaster. I was leaking a lot of liquid fuel and it broke up on impact. I'm talking about my crap! Come on, this is gold! Uh-oh, that could be dangerous. That's better. <coughs> hey, buddy. You feeling better? Hmm. We gotta kick this up a notch. Do something you'll really appreciate. I know it always cheers me up. Jeff Foxworthy. He makes fun of them rednecks. They're so stupid. <laughs> oh, man. I gotta pee. I'll just go in this electrical outlet. <laughs> Hey, let's set off the smoke alarm. It's just a sticker. <laughs> that didn't work. What would make Dell feel better? Shave his eyebrows. Let's write on him. Let's beat him with a baseball bat. Get away from him. Oh, my sweet, sweet love. I should have never left your side. That chick is, like, totally schizophrenic. I believe the word you're looking for is schizophrenic. I learned that off my word-a-day, date-month desk thing. Murderers. Now we got nothing to beat, except this wall socket what shocked me. Oh, my God! Somebody removed the sticker! Del? You were tossing and turning all night. I videotaped it all. Is this your room? Uh-huh. Do you like it? Uh, I don't feel well. You sleep tight, my prince. I won't let anyone hurt you anymore. Ever. 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 Would you stop doing that? I'm trying to sleep. Sorry. Something's missing in here. Did you shave your beard? It's Dell. He's gone. All right. Felicity carried him off. Hey, Joe. Until Dell comes back, I need you to be my new best friend. Sure. When the laws of entropy cease to govern the universe. Cool! Now put on the sombrero. Not a chance. Oh, come on, Joe. I just lost my best friend. Please. 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 Okay. You look like such a tool in that. <laughs> That's it. I'm not doing this. The old Joe would have done it. The one with the beard. I think I should call my mom. You rest. I'll call her for you. Mrs. Swanson? Hi. This is Felicity. I just wanted to let you know that I'm taking care of Dell. Hmm? You're going on vacation? No phones there? <laughs> Marriage? Don't you think it's a little premature? Wear your wedding dress? Oh, I'd love to. Thank you so much, Mrs. Swanson. Okay, Mom. Bye. Your mother is so controlling. She's gonna ruin the most important day of my life. Wear her wedding dress. If I wanted that dress, I'd go to Lane Bryant! Uh. Holy crap! Give me that! Oh man, there's that douchebag again. I heard him talking in the cafeteria. He has such an annoying voice. It's all like, look at me, everybody. I'm a douchebag. Here I am, douchebag. That's me, douchebag. He actually said that? No, I think he was ordering potatoes. Like a douchebag. Hey, Joe, you're smart. Is there a way to kill someone who's really annoying without anyone finding out? If there was, you think you'd be standing here talking to me? Oh, I see what you're getting at. Don't worry, Joe. I would never kill you. You're my new best friend, now that Dell's gone. There. You're practically good as new. Yeah, so 
I guess I should go back to my room. But this is your room. It's our room, Dell. Our room. Remember we talked all about this? We did? Poor silly Dell. When somebody's temperature got to 109, I think somebody got a little brain damage. <laughs> didn't he? Didn't he? Didn't he? <laughs> yeah. Isn't it wonderful? We're a couple now. A couple? Well, I don't know about that. After all I did for you, you'd abandon me? I guess so. But Dell, I skipped class to nurse you. I fed you. I gave you transfusions of my blood. I'm inside you, Dell. You did all that for me? Well, I guess I do kind of owe you one. I love you too. <laughs> Dude, you're back! Just in time! I'm smashing these mustard packets. Here. I can't stay. Maybe I didn't explain. I said I'm smashing these mustard packets. Felicity's gonna introduce me to more of her stuffed animals. Today we're doing K through M. I'm particularly excited about meeting Lammy. <laughs> what the hell's wrong with you? You've been completely ignoring Coney. I bet you didn't even notice that he got a new hat. I should really get going. Felicity's waiting. Dude, she's bad news. She's completely got you under her spell. You don't even know what's real anymore. Coney and I were just talking about it. She's not so bad. She brushes my hair every night. We do the daily jumble together. She says it has been the happiest two weeks of my life. Hey! Milo's throwing rocks at a telephone pole! What? Del, you coming? No. <sighs> this is Kooky Koala. This is Kooky Kangaroo. This one's just named Kooky. I had to rip his eyes out because I didn't like the way he looked at me. Ow! Watch where you're throwing those rocks. Oh, very fragile. <laughs> Why don't we just watch the movie I rented? It's my favorite romantic comedy. It's called Misery. Uh, I was sort of thinking I might go hang out with Sanford today. Oh, fine. Don't worry about me, or our plans, or the stuffed animals, or the baby. We have a baby? Well, not yet, but we will. Six, or eight, or maybe twelve. And, and I'll watch them while you're off being a successful salesman in low-cost men's suits. Well, I think I better get going. You can leave if you want, except for the fact that I've broken both of your ankles and locked you in a closet, so you can never leave! Never! Oh, wait, I haven't done that yet. Darn it, Felicity! Make a to-do list! A to-do list! There's that tool again. I can't freaking take it anymore! Hey, douche! Shut up, meat sock. You know, ever since I saw you, I've been wanting to punch you right in your stupid face. Just stay the hell out of my way. Wow, that guy's cool. And up close, he's damn good looking. You guys still throwing rocks at the pole? No, we realized it's impossible. I don't believe I missed all the fun. Well, Ed Bickle's coming by. He's gonna drive Todd's LaCar blindfolded. Sweet. Let's go! I didn't even put the blindfold on yet. <laughs> and then the ambulance came. Well, of course I had my seatbelt on. You think I would get in the car with a blindfolded guy and not put my seatbelt on? You raised me better than that. You treat me like a kid sometimes. Who's there? A little old lady who... <laughs> Classic. You're such a mama's boy. What's that douchebag doing on my bed? Don't go anywhere. Three South will be back in like a week. You should probably stay right where you are and just order in food.
You're safe now, old man. The Three South theme song you just heard was created by the Flaming Lips.